Some animals manage to escape every human curiosity. Even with all our technology, satellites and cameras, some of these beasts have made it a point to avoid humans and have placed a larger price on their backs. From mythical unicorns to the monsters of human imagination, here are 15 animals you'll be a millionaire if you can find. With all the species going extinct in this world every year, why is this one worth saving? White moose. Outside of certain species, the genetic condition known as albinism tends to be rare in the animal kingdom. Defined as the complete absence of pigmentation, it can occur in just about every kind of animal, even humans. There have been isolated incidents where it can be more common. Their population arose from a limited number of individuals, according to the Unamaki Institute of Natural Resources. There have been sightings of at least three albino moose in the last six years. After one was shot and another died of natural causes, a sole female remains. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? World's Most Expensive Tuna The famous fish is a worldly and cherished plate from the kind you find in a can and at a cheap sushi restaurant to the bluefin tuna, which hails king of them all, including price. A plate of bluefin sashimi, raw fish over rice, can cost as much as $80. And that's just for three pieces. I wonder what a whole fish might cost. The largest ever caught weighed 275 kilograms and was purchased by a legendary sushi chef named Kiyoshi Kimura, aka the Tuna King. You don't go around sporting tuna in a can with a title like the Tuna King, am I right? The sale took place in 2013 in the famed Tokyo Fish Market for a cool 333.6 million yen or 3.1 million dollars. For a fish! Considered divine, the tuna supposedly melts in your mouth. Not sure how to feel about that, but we'll give it a whirl. <laughs> Spirit bears are amazing creatures. Like the albino moose mentioned before, their more common trend of albinism is inherent because of their isolated location and low population. They have a mythic tale and rich history, making them all the more, well, spiritual. The bear has been called many names, the white bear, the spirit, the ghost, or as the locals say, Mokum O, the ghost bear. Those locals, the Kirasu, have been living on the coastal islands for generations upon generations. They revere nature and have a mythical connection to its many fabrics. Of all creatures, none are more sacred to the Kirasu than the ghost bear. It's considered the rarest bear on earth. If it had a horn, it might be mistaken for a unicorn. And these bears are real. Experts say about a hundred live today. The white ones, believe it or not, are a subspecies of their black bear cousins. Geneticists have learned that their unique coloration is a mutation in a gene somewhere down the line of living in their new environment. In other words, the spirit bear is a comic book hero that belongs with Wolverine and Professor X. The Krusty Nautilus A rare nautilus has been spotted for the first time in three decades. This creature is a species of nautilus thought to be extinct. As you can tell, it's challenging to determine when a species goes extinct in the ocean. Nautiluses, which are the small distant cousins of squid and cuttlefish, can be found around the globe. They're a rare and ancient animal lineage. You might hear them called the living fossils because their distinctive shell appears in fossil records spanning an incredible 500 million years. That isn't to say it hasn't changed at all. We all know what happens to creatures that sit idle with evolutionary change for too long, but rather other parts changed while the shell remained. Illegal fishing operations for valuable nautilus shells have decimated some populations of an already dwindling species. Should this go unchecked, it could threaten a lineage of species that's been around longer than the dinosaurs and survived the two largest mass extinctions in Earth's history. Can't let that happen. <laughs> Horseshoe crabs. The fact that horseshoe crabs' blood is blue isn't the only thing going to give you a shock here. It's also one of the most expensive liquids in the world and used for costly medications and treatments. While it may seem like a miracle drug, horseshoe crabs are endangered, therefore insanely expensive for medicine. Do we stop harvesting the precious liquid for the sake of the horseshoe, or do we stop making vital medicine? The choice has been difficult for scientists trying to crack the code on an artificial alternative. 
Horseshoe crab blood is the main reason many modern medications are safe for human use. Without the horseshoe blood additive, some of our medications would be far too toxic. It includes surgical anesthetics, so if you want to continue to have surgery while under the comforts of sleep or pain relief, take this seriously. The blood contains the only natural source of bacteria known as amebocyte lysate. These healthy bacteria detect and neutralize the heavy prominent medical contaminant called endotoxin found in many of the world's medicines. If endotoxin makes its way into the body in even tiny amounts, the results are likely death. To put the horseshoe crab's blood importance into perspective, every pharmaceutical company on the planet uses the blood in their products. <laughs> The Asian Unicorn The wild Seola is so rare that the last known successful photograph of the mythical beast was in 2013. Before that, 15 years prior. On average, us humans get a good glimpse of this gorgeous and rare creature once a decade. Looking reminiscent of an antelope, the Seola can have a pair of horns extending nearly 20 inches from its head. They can curl and bend in fascinating patterns. This creature is so rare it's been dubbed the Asian Unicorn on account of its ability to evade human interaction whatsoever. This creature has eluded humankind so well that its skull was first discovered in 1992 and wasn't spotted alive again until 2013. It was captured on photo sticking its dinky head out of its secluded mountain hideaway. They can't or won't survive in captivity and many researchers assume that species with so little contact with humans can get stressed enough to die within just hours. It's not pretty. For now, researchers are forced to observe and study from a healthy distance, whether it decides to poke its elusive head out or not. Rare Russian Sturgeon Russian Sturgeon was once the most widely distributed sturgeon species in the Danube River. It regularly migrated upstream. Today, Russian sturgeons are listed as critically endangered. From 2013 to 2018, not one was tagged or spotted, giving researchers a bit of a panic. When 2018 hit, they tagged one. A complex pattern of spawning migrations makes things even more challenging to find them. Individuals migrating in spring typically enter fresh water just before spawning. Males reproduce for the first time at around 8 to 13 years of age and females at 10 to 16. Females can reproduce every four to six years and males every two to three years, but only when the water temperature rises just above 10 degrees Celsius. Larvae drifts on currents and anything warmer might roast them. If they make it to juveniles, they move towards shallower habitats before migrating to the sea during their first summer. That is what's supposed to happen anyway. While they mostly follow the same patterns, their small numbers have made it nearly impossible to locate them without tags. Experts suspect fewer than a hundred are alive. The new spawning in which they finally tagged one gives rise to a bit of hope. <laughs> the Attics It's not a coincidence that many albino animals made it onto today's list. Typically, the rarer they are, the more valuable. Since the condition only changes the coloring and doesn't affect the quality, albino beasts are often sought. The Attix is a subspecies of the antelope, with the looks to accompany its spiritual grace. They're also known as the white antelopes or screwhorn antelopes for apparent reasons. These dangerous creatures are critically endangered. There may be only three remaining, according to experts. Believe it or not, that small number does not necessarily seal them to fate of extinction. 2,000 of the species are kept in zoos or conservations around the world. Some are worshipped, even protected. Male addixes can weigh between 220 to 300 pounds, so this is no small antelope. Females are slightly smaller and more slender. From ground to horn tip, they can stand a massive 37 to 70 inches tall. Depending on the horns, these beasts can look monstrous. The horns typically sport anywhere from one to three spiral twists, giving them a unique look. As you can imagine, as the twists get more elaborate, the more fantastical the creature appears. <laughs> <laughs> the Vaquita With fewer than 30 left, the Vaquita is arguably the most endangered marine mammal on this big blue ball we call home. This is the last of the Vaquita. 30 left before an entire species is nothing more than a legend for the history books. With that in mind, think about how you'd feel should only 30 humans remain. Humans are undoubtedly the most impactful catalyst on these ancient species' longevity, from illegal fishing to plain carelessness. Once again, humanity is forced to step in and correct errors from our past. Lack of foresight was kind of our thing. 
Combining Forces in California, the CERVA, or Committee for the Recovery of the Vaquita, has joined with the Monterey Bay Diving to help pinpoint and eliminate illegal and careless practices that have played such an impactful role in diminishing the vaquita. Even with a daily focused force, the unlawful activity has shown no signs of slowing. Can we save it in time? Rare White Cobra As we've mentioned previous times in this list, albino creatures are highly sought after due to their rarity. Their scarce appearances make some people pay top dollar for the beautiful snakes. While it's undoubtedly gorgeous, it's no less deadly than its easily recognizable and fully colored brother. There are white snake species, so it's vital to ensure you don't get fooled into one of those. Remember, albinism is the absence of full pigmentation from the individual, including the eyes. If the snake has black eyes, it's not an albino. As rare as it is to find albino creatures, here's one in all its glory. The Mountain Pika The pika, a remarkable animal endemic to northwest China, was first discovered in 1983 and studied for a bit and then never heard from or seen again until 2014. The sad news is researchers have learned that the pika population is declining rapidly due to the effects of climate change. Considered endangered, experts suspect that in only five years it will enter critical status or even extinction. There is yet to be another sighting. Extinction could have already occurred. It's sort of tragic, right? It resembles a short-eared rabbit, so its cuteness makes it even harder to digest. Now, I know, I know, cuteness doesn't make it any more critical, but it makes that much more difficult. Almost nothing is known about the species. It's primarily a diurnal species, meaning active during the day, but may exhibit nocturnal activity should it benefit their local habitat. Only one to two litters are produced each year, contributing to the relatively slow rate at which they can keep up with their annihilation. They're incredibly social creatures, however. They rarely utter audible communications that humans can perceive. It's all at a level most of us will never detect. The Amur Leopard The gorgeous Amur Leopard is a beautiful creature that's landed on the critically endangered list, I'm sad to say. Typically found in the savannas of Africa, the Amur Leopard and most other hunting cats can be found foraging the grasslands and hunting antelope. The Amur is exceptional in that it's located in the Russian Far East, where it's adapted to the frigid environment in which it thrives. The Amur Leopard is a lone wolf, so to speak, whereas other cats might form a pride. Due to their solitary nature, they can be easily killed or poached for their coats. The Amur is agile, graceful, and an excellent hunter whose beautiful presence would surely be missed. It can run up to 40 miles per hour, has a 10-foot vertical, and stores extra food after it's filled itself from a fresh kill. After the Amur leopard has killed its prey, it drags it to a spot where it can be eaten or hidden closely monitored and protected from any would-be thieves. These gorgeous creatures are suspected to be extinct within a few years should the same trends continue. <laughs> the Elusive Pearl Oyster how the heck does a living thing make a precious thing like a pearl? Well, the correct question would be why humans consider pearls precious, but that's beside the point. Back on the subject, the oyster pearl. While oysters are undoubtedly common, an oyster forming a gorgeous pearl is relatively rare. The process begins when a foreign substance slips into the oyster between the mantle and the shell as it closes. This debris irritates the mantle oyster and mantle. It's kind of like the oyster getting a splinter. The oyster's natural reaction is to cover up that irritant to protect itself. The mantle covers the irritant with layers of the same substance that's used to create the shell. This substance eventually forms a pearl on the inside. It's as simple as that. Most pearls produced today are forced, meaning that irritants are purposefully placed into an open oyster to begin that process. It's not 100% going to work every time, though. Sometimes what's meant to be an irritant isn't an irritant at all. Most pearls that we see in jewelry stores are perfectly rounded and considered the most valuable ones. Not all pearls turn out to be so pretty. Some form uneven shapes, weird colors, even dirty looking. These are called Baroque pearls. They come in various colors, including white, black, gray, red, blue, and green. Pearls can be found worldwide, but the black pearl is unique to the South Pacific. The Sumatran Rhino Intelligent, gentle, and friendly with humans, the rhino is one of the most elegant and vital creatures on Earth. 
hunted for its horn, the Sumatran elephant and humans have a cruel and vicious relationship everywhere outside protected parks. They're often the subject of cruel mutilation and poaching. Found dead and decapitated in the wild, rhino poachers and habitat loss are the most significant reasons for this powerful animal's decline. As more and more programs are established to eliminate the practice, it seems that the price goes higher and higher on the black market. They're fighting a losing battle against careless people. As long as there's a ton of money to make and a poverty level to support the practice, poaching them for rare resources will continue to chisel away at their existence. In the past 20 years alone, humans have eradicated more than 50% of the rhino population, which proves that human intervention into saving these creatures may be already too little too late. Will we learn from these wild mistakes of the past? Or will we trudge forward with little care or concern for anything but ourselves? Only time will tell. The Loch Ness Monster Whether you believe in the tales or not, the stack of evidence for Nessie's existence is staggering. Over 1,000 eyewitnesses and unexplainable evidence proves the Nessie debate is far from over. The story has been through the ringer. From horror to mystery, Loch Ness has forever imprinted itself into the human psyche. The creature of Scottish folklore is said to inhabit Loch Ness in the Scottish Highlands. Often described as significant, long-necked and with one or more humps protruding from the water, it sounds oddly familiar and reminiscent of a dinosaur, no? Widespread interest and belief in the creature have varied since it was brought to the worldwide attention in 1933. The story has entered legendary status. Evidence of its existence is entirely anecdotal, with several disputed photographs. Even the photographs are being argued by researchers of the existence of giant eels. Either way, a giant monster or giant eel is something to be cautious of. Scientists regard the Loch Ness Monster as a phenomenon without a biological basis. In other words, it joins the ranks of the Flying Spaghetti Monster and World Serpent. Yet while the scientific world has proven chiefly that it doesn't exist, some evidence just baffles experts. What could this evidence reveal? Was there once a Nessie that died many years ago? If you found out these photos were indeed of a giant eel, would you stop calling it a Nessie? All things to think about and let us know down in the comments. There are some animals out there that seem to make it a point to avoid human interaction. Seeing as to what happened to some of the species, I can't blame them. If anything should be gained from this list, it's that there are creatures out there so elusive we have zero information about them. How many are so well adapted to hiding from us that we don't even know they exist? As researchers continue to dig and sweat through research, we'll be here to convey it as best we can. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our lit content delivered right to your inbox. Mm -hmm.